We've been a field that has really been transformed over the years by technologies that move at a rapid pace. These transformative technologies allow us to, with increasing resolution and specificity, identify the ones which cause human disease. When I was a trainee, we were lucky to identify and be able to attribute a DNA mutation to maybe one to two percent of cases. Now with this technology transformation, we are now able to do this in 35, 40, even 50 percent of cases. This technology, this ability to make diagnostics is unbelievable. It, it has changed not just genetics and genomics, it's changed genetics and genomics in genomic medicine of all fields, whether you're a cardiologist, whether you are a pediatrician, whether you're a neonatologist, whether you're a lung doctor. The challenge has been getting these technologies and these diagnostics to all patients, all individuals everywhere. Um, our vision is that genetics and genomics benefits everyone everywhere. And that is a vision because we have failed as a world, as a health profession in doing that. The ways that we can overcome it, I think reducing cost is a very important component. But then there's also the issue of using technology to reach individuals in urban centers, in rural areas, who don't have access even to primary care physicians. So on multiple layers, we hope to bend the curve to get to that vision of genetics and genomics benefiting everyone everywhere. So I think our community is vibrant and exciting and the science drives what we do and the technology has driven the science. I think that the excitement that we move the field with is really what keeps us and keeps the field going. I think it's critical also for us to engage. Um, part of overcoming disparity is to be able to communicate what we do to the public. It's important that we don't limit our communication and our engagement just to ourselves. As amazing as this meeting is, and we're sharing great science, I think the real impact is when we get that science out to the community. So I think that every day as a scientist, we need to think of ourselves as citizens also. In so doing, I think we really will deliver on the impact that our mission makes us do.